All right, so in this video, we're gonna put a new doubled in radio into the C5. And hopefully that works and all that. All right, I've used my multimeter, checking for voltage. Uh, you could do it for continuity, but I just did voltage with one on the ground and one on the positive. So this is the radio harness and basically the orange is the battery feed. And then the black and white is the ground. Um, after some research and just trying to poke around, there isn't really an accessory wire. I It, it must get the accessory power from somewhere else. Um, yeah. So I'll have to look into that more. Um, but I think let's take off the center console thing again and just mock up putting the new radio into here. All right, so here's all the parts going in to the C5. This is uh, just the new console thing for a double din. This is whatever it's required for some reason. Uh, something about the factory sound system. And then this is what came with the car when I bought it. So we're gonna try to make this work. All right, center console is out. Radio bezel trim is out. Now let's grab the new radio and try to figure out how this bolts into place. This is the new center console just kind of laid into place. This is what it would look like. Um, so we can see with a double din, this bracket for the AC unit is definitely in the way. So they gave us uh, sort of like a template to draw new holes to mount a bracket. So I guess that's what, what we're gonna have to do is some cutting and drilling. Alright, the new console thing came with instructions, so here's a little bracket, gives me four holes to drill, and we're just going to follow along and see what happens. Alright, so I have the bracket out of the way, I drilled my, two, my four holes, so you do one here, one here, and you, you line up the bracket into this hole, so like it's super easy, you know where you're drilling. Over here there's one just under the metal clip, and then one down here. All right, so I spent a while cutting out the little bracket in here that holds this thing normally. Um, I All I have really is an angle grinder and the angle grinder wasn't able to reach all the way. So I used a regular handsaw and you can see it's a little eh. Um, but I think that should be enough to just mount it in. Um, so I wanted to make sure like I got these holes in the right spot. And uh, right now the top, like tabs are in and the bottom is just not bolted in but that fits it fits really good okay so now i can work on uh drilling and making screws for the bottom so this is mounted securely all nice and then figure out how to mount the radio in here well easy enough the screws it came with with i followed the instructions correctly and Yep, it worked. So these screws securely hold us in place. That's not going anywhere. Um, so basically, it says in the instructions you're going to drill four holes. They're an eighth of an inch drill bit, but really the top one needs to be a lot bigger. It needs to be the size of whatever that hole is. So, uh, I mean, if you're doing this, you'll, you'll kind of see why and you should be able to figure it out. All right, now let's mount the radio. All right, so it's not mounted in all the way. It's not actually, the radio is not bolted in. It's just kind of held on the mounting tab, the factory mounting tab, but not too bad. I didn't want to have to cut up the factory radio harness, but looks like I'm gonna have to. It's hard to see, but it, it works. So yay, I can go forward. Um, I just wired up with just battery, accessory, and ground, and that's enough to turn it on. So next up is figuring out which speaker wire is which. All right, you got it fully hooked up. The speakers work and everything. Um, wow, that's it's really great. So now I have to, I'm gonna vacuum up all the metal shavings. Uh, there's an, another portion of the radio that I have to wire up, so um, I'll have like USB, 
um, some other stuff that this thing has. I mean, this is a pretty good double den and for me, it came free with the car. But Bluetooth works. Um, I'm gonna have to buy an adapter if I want it to have radio, which I think would be not such a bad idea. Right here, you can see it says Bose. So I thought that meant this car has the Bose sound system. Turn that off. Uh, but apparently not. So I guess I don't need this. So I'll just return it then. Because I don't have... I, uh, it's supposed to have like a factory harness for the amplifier that you plug into here. But I don't have anything that fits there. So I guess this is not a Bose... Uh, system C5 even though it has Bose on the speakers unless I'm missing something and I, I just don't understand but I don't know uh, if you know am I missing something here or is this just not a Bose sound system car even though it says Bose on the speaker grills All right, I got the engine running Got it all in, just don't have the AC thing because I'm going to either repair or send it out. I'm most likely just going to send it out, so at some point I'm going to have to take this all apart again, but uh, I got this to line up without there being much of a gap at all. There's still a tiny, tiny bit of a gap, but I mean at this point it's what you would expect from an aftermarket radio. Um, yeah, but... I'm really impressed with how um, good this is. See if the radio works. Yeah, I'm getting static, which is good. So I, I plugged in the tree. God yep. has the, the victory, works. and Jesus, Jesus <laughs> lived in this victory. All right, let's turn that muted. Yep. So I got the radio antenna adapter thing I just went over to uh, Auto AutoZone and just bought it uh, it's a little more expensive there but I mean you get it the same day so it is what it is um, but everything works <laughs> and I'm excited to mess around with this I've never had a double din or a touch